Oh, hey everybody, it's the Electrocutioner, welcome back to Grand Theft Auto V. In the last episode, we did the Meltdown and saw the premiere for the Meltdown. And, um, well, we went to the premiere, but we didn't see the movie. Because Devin sent Meriwether to our house to kill Tracy and Amanda. So we had to go save them and take out the Meriwether at our house. And he did that because he was mad that we got Molly killed. You know, well, sort of. And, uh... And, um, we didn't cancel the movie, so he, yeah, he did that. And Michael decided to move on the Union Depository right now before it gets any hotter. Which is a smart decision. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna, we're gonna set up for the big one. And, um... And, uh, yeah, there's a mission where we have to save Jimmy. Um, yeah, we're going to do that as well. And I can't believe, I'm proud of myself for getting through that sentence without messing up. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, was that a little loud? I apologize. But anyways, I'm starting as Trevor so you can see the whole cutscene here. I actually changed clothes and I had to go out of the building and come back in because it disappeared. But anyways... <laughs> Here we go. So, uh, this is it. Arr. Hope you and Michael will be able to, uh, let each other move on in peace. I just hope he keeps his fucking mouth shut, you know? I mean, when the heat comes, and we both know we pull this off, it's gonna come. Yes, it will come, and I think that he will. And Franklin? Yeah, Franklin what? You gonna keep your mouth shut? Why? Because I've squealed like a bitch so far? Hey, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> you know, bit of heat few years back there in the Midwest, and your boy Michael, he changed his name. Well, the way he tell it, it wasn't that clear. Hey, sorry I'm late. Oh, we were just talking about you. Well, don't worry. Another few hours, you never have to talk about me again, Trevor. You're the one who likes to talk. Watch your back. You too. That's all I'm saying. Fuck you, though. Fuck you, all excuse right, all me, right, huh? Enough. enough! Thank you. Okay, uh, this is it. Well, we have two options. Okay. They're a little, uh, out there, but then again, what do you expect? Okay, option one. We hijack their armored cars. We take the crews hostage, and we infiltrate the depository. Now, once you're in there and you've got the score, we send in a team of modded cars. We load up and get out. We need to infiltrate the transportation grid and manipulate it to aid our escape. But option two, we cause a distraction out front, make them think we're dumb. <laughs> well, we've never had a problem convincing people of that, have we? <laughs> the other guys will be drilling, taking what they can. You're going to be the distraction. Always the attention seeker. You know, for a guy who's always stepping on his friends to get ahead, he has an unfortunately low sense of self-worth. Okay, okay, let me show you the board. To uh, recap... And these are our options. We try to make them give us the gold, or we drill a big old hole in the side of the bank and we take it out. If you're drilling a big old hole, you'll need a big old drill, a tunnel bore machine. I'll locate it, but you have to steal it and store it near the bank. Uh, they're excavating a new part of the metro network around there, so that's where you'll go in. Uh, we'll need choppers for the getaway, too. Uh, Trevor has one we can use. The other can be bought. The guys on the ground will need a getaway car, so get something fast and tough. And then modify it as much as you can to increase your chances of getting away from the cops. And it's got to be stored in a parking garage near the UD. Uh, there's going to be a lot of heat, so think about that. Um, for, I'm forgetting something. Uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> we'll need a train to land the gold on and take it to the warehouse. You'll have to steal it. Uh, again... I'll send you the details. Now, if you're interested in the more, um, subtle approach, hijacking the armored cars and so on, huh, you've got to get some police stingers. And only cops are licensed to have them, so that's a headache of its own. Oh, what else? Um, oh, right, uh, you'll need to get a hold of and mod some getaway cars. Uh, the normal suspension's gonna give out under a couple of tons of gold. Whoa, man, a couple of tons? Four tons in total, <laughs> and that's what I can get the system to divert into the cage we're hitting. Fuck me! Okay, okay, last thing. You remember that underpass we saw from the helicopter? No, that's where I'll set up the uh, smoke and mirrors to get the cops off your scent. I heard that before. Michael? Okay. Subtle or obvious? What's it going to be? 
All right. Subtle, you freaking hijack the armored cars and uh, you uh, make them give you the gold. Or, friggin' uh, obvious way, you take it out by force. Friggin' drilling into the bank. We're gonna do the subtle way for the Let's Play. Um, and, of course, we'll do the obvious way another time. But anyways, subtle it is. Oh, you want him to give you the medal? Okay, well, it's gonna take a big crew. Uh, two gunmen, two drivers, and a hacker. First gunman comes into the bank with you and helps you move the gold into the reinforced hot rods. Second gunman is there to take down the armored cars and bring the hostages to a safe house. Okay, so the first gunman... Uh, I know he's going to say this, but I, I might as well repeat it just in case you don't hear him. Which I don't know how you win it, but, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat it, repeat it anyway. Just, you know, just so you know for sure what's going to happen. Two gunmen, two drivers, two hackers. Or two two gunmen, two drivers, one hacker. Um, so the first gunman is going to come into the bank with you. And help you lo load the gold into the armored cars. Um, or muscle cars. Whatever. I'm, I'm going to go with armored cars. Because they keep saying that, you know. But whatever. And the second gunman will... Uh, take the hostages to a safe house. So I'm going to do help us lo load the gold. Do Packy again. There wasn't much money in that bureau thing, you know. I mean, we got to give him a shot. Take the hostages to a warehouse. You know. I guess we can, uh, let's do, I guess we can do Chef again. I don't see why not. And driver number one takes the wheel in the fourth getaway car is going to be at the bank with you and help loading. They're a key part of this. Driver number two helps you hijack the armored cars and will be in charge of replacing the tires your stingers ripped out. Alright, so driver one will take the, the wheel in the fourth getaway car and driver two will replace the tires that the stingers ripped out. So I won't tell it. This girl, Taliana. Taliana, she's supposed to be good, and she'll work for way less than she's worth, if you believe that. I don't know how he's, M Michael's saying that when Franklin's the one that found her, but whatever. I want her driving the fourth getaway car. I'm not going to pass her up. And replacing the tires, let's do Eddie Toe. There are precautions, of course, to picking the wrong crew, but as long as you pick good people, you know, it shouldn't be a problem. Now, the hacker, right. uh, they're going to break into the traffic system, buy you some time coming out of the bank, if you need it, but we might be cool. Alright. So I'll use Rick for the jewel store job, but I'm going to use uh, Paige here. Harris! <laughs> Good. Feminine touch. She'll be able to find any back doors they got. We'll only get one shot at this thing. Is this the shot we want to take? Alright. I think we're okay. good to confirm we that. We need those stingers and the modified getaway cars. I knew you'd like that. All right. Kind of good. If you ask me. Nobody asked you. Got him. Sir, only hope. You control traffic in this town. You control the streets. I think it could work. It will work. As long as we're ready to move now. Come on. I'll take you to the equipment. Fucking asshole. All right. Let's go. All right. When we walk out of this place, we'll get a call from Jimmy needing help. Well, there you go. Heist crew members. Director mode. Now the precautions. There's precautions to picking bad people. Just like the... You know, a bad driver in the jewel store job. It'll he'll like... Um, immune to booby? Like, wrong... The bad driver in the jewel store job. You know, he'll actually... Friggin, uh... He'll actually swerve out before you get to the tunnel. And a bad hacker like Ricky, I used him because I wanted to give him at least some work. But he, you know, he doesn't know, um, he doesn't know, um, uh, how much time you have before the alarm goes off, right? Paige, also Paige gives you a minute and a half. Good. There's a guy named Christian in there. He'll give you a minute. That's all, a minute. 
And Ricky, I used him because, like I said, I wanted to give him some, some work because I always feel bad for the guy. Um, because because of us, he lost his job. So I always feel bad for him. So I gave him at least some work, at least some money, you know. Not too, too much, but it's like, it's it's good enough, right? Um, but yeah, he, um, he won't know how much time you have before the alarm goes off. So yeah, there are precautions for picking bad people. And here, like, the bad second driver, you know, won't really replace the tires very well when the stingers get ripped. The stingers rip the tires out, they won't be able to re replace the tires very well, right? And the bad hacker, like Ricky, if you don't pick Ricky before, you know, there will be a huge delay in controlling the tra friggin' traffic, traffic lights. You know, and like, the bad first driver, or Paige can, Paige can give you no delay, but Ricky, if you haven't used him before, there was one playthrough I reused him throughout the entire game, that's what I'm gonna do when I do like, the other ways for the heist, that's what I'm gonna use him for the entire game there. Uh, but yeah, if you don't use him before that, he w there will be a huge delay. If you if you used them at least once, there won't be probably still be a delay, but not as big. Page there with Page there won't be a delay at, at all. Okay, the first the bad first driver they won't drive the getaway car very good, you know, and they could get stopped by the cops, right? The gunmen, you know, loading the gold, they'll like drop the gold and they won't be able to pick it back up for some reason. And the bad second driver, you know, I don't know how, like, they're just taking the hostages to a warehouse. I don't know how good they need to be, but, yeah, they're obviously, yeah, there are precautions for, precautions for, uh, picking bad people. But as, as long as you pick good people, you shouldn't really have a problem. As long as you pick good people, there shouldn't be, really be a problem. But anyways. It's just an online persona. It was satire or parody or something. I didn't mean it. Jim? You're taking me up Phantom Canyon in this charcoal colored land stalker to punish me for trolling you? If only someone would save me. Alright, sure. Stalin, kid. I'll be there soon. You know, you, you really are funny and interesting guys. I mean, any attention is uh, good attention, right? All right, gotta go save Jimmy. Here's a little um, here's something funny I discovered in one playthrough. If you actually call a cab, if you actually call a cab and like skip the ride, uh, when once once it freaking skips the ride, the guys will be gone and you'll be able to freaking take Jimmy home right away. So, you know. I'm not going to be able to do that here because I tried it. Like, I recorded the failed recording where, you know, I couldn't call a cab because n none were available. And every time I tried to get in a cab, I don't know what happened, but every time I tried to get in a cab, I would just push X, but I would jack it. Like, it was, so it was acting like I was holding X when I was just tapped it. So I don't know what was, hap what was happening there. So I'm not going to be able to show that, but I wanted to tell you about it. So yeah, take a cab, skip the ride, which will cost you extra, but once the ride skips, the guys will all the guy his kidnappers will already be gone. So there's a there's a funny little tip for you. Anyways, I'll I'll get close and I'll meet and I'll I'll cut the video to when I'm close. Alright, see you guys when I'm close to Jimmy. Okay, there's no reason at all to be suspicious of anyone behind us. And if there was, he would just be there to warn you. He would definitely not kill you. Definitely would not kill you. Shut up, troll. You gave up your right to free speech when you insulted a celebrity on the internet. It was a couple of comments, some colorful language. Uh, it was harassment. You're the comedy writer. Deal with the heckle. I blocked you. You started another account. I blacked you again. You started another. But what you didn't count on is me having the money and the resources to trace your IP. I count on you having better things to do. Well, I don't. 
I'm a lonely man, and social media is my life. It's given me the recognition I've been denied my whole life. I can make snarky comments and glib pronouncements and lap up the adulation, banishing any form of dissent. I'm a king, and Bleeder is my kingdom. Okay, um, that's pretty sad. Don't lose sleep over it. When I'm done, the only bleeding you'll be doing is actual, like, bleeding, because then you'll be in pain. <laughs> <laughs> Trash the kidnapper's car. Do not kill the kidnappers. There they are. You got it. Box. That's my dad, you a-hole. Oh, he's gonna fuck you up properly. Oh, really? How big's this herd, huh? The size of your herd? Don't matter when you're a total badass psycho, you dick. Daddy's boy. Read the tattoo, kid. What's it say? Entitled. Because I am. <sighs> Horrible little troll. Dad! Dad! shoot his tires out. You got my son in there! Let me All take right. you home. Take Jimmy home. Thank you. Shit. Fuck, man. Do you, think, do you think it's over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gone. Are you sure? Because the dude holds like a grudge, and I'm like his nemesis. I wouldn't go that far. Look. He thought you were a fat little nobody. Sorry. Now he thinks you're so I hope you can hear that over the tire screeching, guys. Nothing really I could do about it. Little nobody with a badass for a dad. You'll stay away. But but I'm like his troll, Pop. Maybe I should have blown his tires Only out. An idiot, but a troll? Jim? What's a troll? Like a joker on the internet. What sort of jokes? Sort of mean jokes. Like what? Like, someone posts something and you're all like, that sucks, you suck, dick. Oh, so jokes that aren't funny. No, you don't get it. The humor comes with repetition. Like, you say it once, big deal. Then you say it again, and again, and again, and again. Okay. Like, the other day, he posts this picture of his newborn, and I'm all like, damn, son, that right there is one ugly-ass motherfucker of a baby. And I'm all like... My balls is prettier than that baby. And then I send him a picture of my balls. I seen Roadkill prettier than that baby. What the hell is wrong with your baby? And he's all like, actually, there's a problem with its chromosomes or something, and it's actually a miracle to survive birth. And I'm all like, it's actually a miracle I survived seeing a picture of its ugly? Yeah, nah. uh. All right. He fucking nah. I get it. Maybe that one was a little old too, but... It's generally really good times. Yeah, good times, great times. The fucking fun you have. Alright, maybe I shouldn't have blown his tires out. Or, you know, I should have stayed in Michael's car. And, uh, just, um... Yeah, I should have stayed in Michael's car and had Jimmy come out and get in his car. And by the way, you have to kind of drive slow, because if you drive too fast and try to turn, then, uh... I mean, when you're slow, you can drive, you can turn fine. But if you drive fast and try to turn, you know, you'll, like, swerve out, because your tires are busted. So, if your tires are ever busted in this game, just, just, just drive slow, because you can't really turn like this. So if you're going real fast, you'll spin out. So and we're definitely we're definitely getting into another car after this mission's over. That one right there looks good. Let's get that one. Okay. Right, the troll could come out of his cage. Screw you. It's sticky back here. It smells funny. Yeah, well maybe that'll teach you to wind people up on the internet. Now get out of here. I don't know where we're dropping them off at. But, okay. Where is this place on the map? 
that that's not Michael's house. Huh. I wonder where this is. I don't know. Alright. Yeah, I don't count these as missions because you don't have to do them. Which is very strange because I said this before. I count Stranger and Freaks as missions even though you don't have to do them. You know? So I don't know why I don't count this as these as missions where you have to m help Michael's family. I don't count these as missions. Even though, you know, because you don't have to do them. But you don't have to do the Stranger and Freaks either, but I count those as missions. Anyways, uh, gauntlets are required for, before attempting the heist. Check your email for locations. So we got an email from Lester. The four muscle cars we're going with. The four muscle cars. We're going with Bravato gauntlets. I modded one and the test worked well. So we just need three more. Hacker pulled some images from the CCTV network. So we got CCTV images of three muscle cars. You know, we need four. Lester already has one. We need three more. We got some CCTV images. Where the cars are. You can see where they are on the map right there. Um, I don't know. It, I don't know why, but in my other recording, like the map was really small for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, there you go. I know where that is. Okay. The other one's right here, actually. This is actually in front of the jewel store that we tipped over. That's cool. Um, the other one's right there. See the location. Okay. And Trevor got an email from Patricia, which I'll read later. Alright, there's an LSPD van holding spike traps, uh, spike strips in the rear car park at the South LS Police Station. I've got the hacker looking for some gauntlet muscle cars. You can modify, expect an email about that soon. Obviously, he sent us this text before the email. But why did, why did it pop up before the email? That's what I don't get. And so we need the spike strip. Like, obviously we we're supposed to get that text first, but we got the email first. That's weird. I don't know what happened there. But you know. All right, so we got spike strips here. We got the spike strips right there. It's actually near Franklin's old house, so that's cool. And we got four muscle cars that we need to get. Four muscle cars that we need to get. Um, so yeah, I, I guess I'll get those first. So I guess I'll get the spike strips first. Alright, stingers. You drive off before I get your car, man. Okay. Well, let's go! what happens if you steal someone's car. The alarm goes off, but it, it will eventually turn off. Alright, so let's go get those spike strips. Oh, this is a tennis. Oh, it's a country club? That's where we dropped Jimmy off. Country club, okay. Nice. Or not a country club, that's golf. A tennis, tennis place. That's where we dropped Jimmy off. Okay, well then, um, anyway, anyways though, yeah, and this police, this police area where we need to get the spike strips, like I said, it's actually near uh, Franklin's old house, so that's cool. Alright, and I, I love this car, man. I would never want one of these cars in real life, but in a video game is different. Alright, see y'all in a second. Alright, here we are. Gotta be a little sneaky about it. It's actually right by the, um... It's 
actually right next, right, right, right next to the impound where we took all those cars in the, in the Tawny missions. It's actually right beside that lot. Okay. Gonna be very sneaky because there is a cop right here. I'm gonna die. right here. Let's do this. You got, I love the heist music in this game. Titanium Infinity Exhaust? Whatever that means. Alright. So yeah, it's cool that it's right near the lot. The, not near it. Right next to the lot where we took all those cars on the Tanya mission. Very cool. The impound. And we can put on our lights. People will move out of the way. Might as well, I guess. Yeah, you stop, bus. We got spikes to deliver. And believe it or not, we're taking not taking it near uh, the garment factory. We're actually parking it near the strip club. Which I guess, guess makes sense, because that's where we're starting the heist. We actually park it under the bridge here. Leave the police van. Alright, stingers. Perfect. Escapee, not a scratch. Gauntlets are required. Okay, yeah, thank you. Alright, Lester. Lester, I got the spike strips we need. Good. Now, once we have all the modified gauntlets, we take the score. Now, recognize this area. This is actually... We actually have a, uh, a shootout with Meriwether. And this is where we have it. This is where all the muscle... This is where all the muscle cards are parked at the end. This is where the freaking hacker that you chose is gonna hack the traffic lights. This is where all that's gonna go down. This is where we bring the gold to load it into the into the muscle cars. That's where all this is where all that goes down. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And then we bring it to a warehouse. So yeah, it's nice. Anyways, it is time to go after the four gauntlets. Alright, there's one right here. Pillbox Hill. Um, let's see the location. Right here. Right there. Um, yeah, right there. So, yeah, it's on top of a. the very top of a, a freaking car garage or a parking garage. Right here. On the very top. Alright, so I'll meet you guys there. There is right there. Now, one playthrough, I replayed the fire crew way. And, um, or the, of the bureau raid. And, um, you know, when you replay it, you don't get to choose a getaway car or where it is. So, I didn't know where it, what the getaway car was. So, I went... I followed the path on the map, and I went around in circles for a long time. And like, where is this? It turned out, it wanted me to go on the highway and go down this freaking drop-off right here. And the getaway car 
was in here. Like, dude, seriously, game? Are you serious? Now, I didn't... The, this wasn't this playthrough. It was, you know, a long time ago. Like, like maybe second playthrough of this game or something. Um, and yeah, it wanted me to drop off... It wanted me to go... It wanted me to go down that little drop off and the car was in here. Like, are you serious, game? Are you serious? <sighs> yeah, this this game's really stupid sometimes. You know? It's really stupid sometimes. Like, no doubt about that. But okay, anyways. Um, let's go to the top level. Come on, there's, there's gotta be a way to go up on, in, car, in the car, right? Yeah, there it is. I thought I... I actually usually walk up the stairs to get up there, but... I don't know why. Because there's obviously a way to get up higher in a car. I always end up taking the stairs, though. And yeah, it's a, at the very top. It's on the... at the very top. And I don't know about real life car parks, but this one has parking spaces at the very top. I'm sure that is a thing in real car parks, but look, up here, there's parking spots. See, I don't know, I don't know, I'm sure that is a thing in real, um, I'm sure that is a, I'm sure that is a thing in real, uh, parking garages. I'm sure that's a thing in real life ones, but it's find it weird, I don't know. But anyways, here the here's the first muscle car. Right here on the top of the car park right here. Or no, car parking garage is on the very top. So there you go. And here we go. Now we need to modify this at ammunition. Cause regular suspension is gonna give out under a couple tons of gold, right? So we need to modify it. It wants us to go to this one every time, but you can actually go to a closer one. It will always put you at this one to modify it at. But you can go to a closer one. Like, the closest one to us is this one. So, instead of going... I mean, there's a closer one to where... In, in, instead of going to this one, go to the closest one. So, the closest one to us right now is this one. So we're going to go to that one instead. And it will still count. Even if you don't modify it at the one you it wants you to modify it at, it will still count. So, uh, yeah. So I'll get, I'll get off the parking garage and I'll go to the ammunition and I'll meet you guys there. You know, frick that. I got a better idea. See the ramp? Woo! Yeah! You can actually control your car in midair, and there's like, um, there's jumps. Okay. There's like stunt jumps. I felt it right there, but yeah, there's like stunt jumps where I think you have to land with all four, all four tires on the ground. I think that's how you do them. Somebody, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's how you do the stunt jumps. You have to make sure all four wheels are on the ground. I obviously felt it, because that didn't happen. I didn't do that, so I obviously felt it. But I think that's what you have to do. I think, it, I think you have to make sure all four tires land on the ground. If I'm wrong, please correct me, but I think that's the way it is. Anyways. So yeah, instead of going to the... The, uh, I said ammunition. I meant, uh, Los, Ant Los Santos Customs. Instead of going to the Los Santos Customs, it wants you to go. Go to your nearest one. Go, go to the closest one instead. Yeah, that'll, that'll save you a lot of time. Which is always good. Alright. The closest one to where we were is this one.
All right. Right? Oh no, there it is. There it is. So the the closest one to where we were is this one. Right here. What's wrong with her now? Carbato gauntlet muscle. All right, we need a vehicle repair. And we need gold preparation. Heist prep. All right, there you go. The suspension is good now. Nice. So now the, sus now the suspension can hold four tons of gold. And now it will redire redirect you to where we need to bring the muscle cars. We need to bring them to a garage. Because that, that Los Santos, uh, I'll show you that Los Santos Customs is um, right here, and where we need to bring the car, the cars to is right here. So it is actually the closest distance. Like bring the cars here to freaking repair them and prepare them, repair them and prepare them for the heist. It's right here, and you bring them to the garage that is right here. So. I guess bringing them here is maybe the best option, you know, because it's a short drive to the garage you need to store them at. But to repair them, I'd rather just go to the closest one, you know. Even though bringing them to the one it wants you to bring them to is, like, basically next to the uh, garage you have to park them at, right? So I guess bringing them to the one it wants you to bring them to is the best option, but I, I'd rather just bring the cars to the nearest Los Santos Customs, you know? I'd rather just bring them to the nearest one. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but I'll meet you guys at the garage where we have to store these things. Alright, let's park them in here. Okay. Nice. Alright, one car down, two to go. Two to go, because remember, Lester already has one. So, yeah, we're good. Alright, mission passed. Gauntlet. So we, pimp, we pimp them out, we get money for that. We spend like $11,000 you know, pimping the muscle car out all the way. Yeah, we get that freaking hey, achievement. Lester. First gauntlet's ready to go. All right, that's good work. Okay, location two. If you would be so kind, thank you, game. All right, Rockford Hills. This one's actually in front of the jewel store that we tipped off. See, clear view. For a little line right I guess zoom in zooming in will help um I don't know anyways we can take this off that's the bureau <laughs> uh what do you mean oh oh what? I don't remember why I put that there. Okay, let me get a refresh here. Okay, it's like a... a Y. confusing map sometimes. Aha, right here. Right there. It's like a Y and they have all you have all the stuff over here. It's right here. Okay.
All right, gauntlet number two. Here we go. All right. Now, you can actually... Let's take it to the same one. You can actually get any gauntlet. It doesn't matter. You can, you can get... You can really get any muscle car. It really doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah. You can get any one of them. This, it doesn't matter. You can just find them. You can get these three. Or you can find three on the street somewhere. I mean, that's a lot harder to do. That's a lot harder to do. Just find three. And I've never done that. But you can. You can just find three random ones on the street. So, so yeah. Very cool. All right. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? Gold preparation. 11,000. We're out of here. Goodbye. All right. To the garage. It's the same distance as last time. Oh, I, I, I guess that was me honking. I thought someone was honking at me. Like, what? That was someone honking at me. I don't know. Like, there's no one there. I mean, obviously, I don't know how. I know. Obviously, I know how they were honking at me, but I don't know who would be honking at me because there's no one there. All right. Same distance, same garage. I'll meet you there. Both these doors open them, I think, right? Yep. And the other one disappeared. No, no, it's still here. I thought it disappeared. Okay, then. And yeah, j I would just recommend picking up a car. Like, I picked up a dump truck, as you probably saw. Um... Not a scratch mapped. Nice. Pimped out. Maybe I'll pimp the last one out. 11000 And you don't get $11,000 for doing it. You get... Freaking... You have to spend $11,000. But, um... Second goal, let's go, Les. Good. We only need one more. Stupid freaking rain. I know you can hear Lester, but I know you can't hear Michael, though. Yeah, I got a dump truck last time, and I recommend just getting a tr getting a car off the road here. I mean, you could call a cab. I mean, you're about to have, what is it? You're we're about to get twenty million dollars, so you know, uh, so you can spend all the money you want right now because you're about to be a millionaire, well, over a millionaire. Michael's got a a million four hundred twelve thousand. Um, yeah, we're about to have a lot more. But anyways third car location time. Let's go. The third one is Mission Row here. Right there it is. And you can see the location. Okay, it's above like the highway. I think it's here, right? Okay, it's above the highway. There's that little thing right there. Okay, no, it's beside of that. Okay, right here. Right here. All right, yeah, it's right there. You know the drill. Pick up a car on. Pick up. A pick up a car on the road. Or if there's roads at, or 
pick up a car on the these roads, or if there's cars at the um, parking spots here, get one of them. All right. So yeah, that's what I'd recommend. Call in a cab. You can call a cab, but it's it's just as easy to. You can do that. It won't ma It doesn't matter anyway because you're about to have over twenty million dollars. We're about to get. You know, over twenty million dollars. You know, that's that's actually pretty exact. But I'll just cut this part out right here. Okay, down this road right here. All right, the fourth and final one. Let's do this. What's cool about this, uh, I, I took the liberty of driving here, and I went to the one it wants me to go to. And what's cool about cool about this one is, is if, you, if you remember Father and Son, where we had to save Jimmy from the boat, or from being on the boat, we took Amanda's car here afterwards. Yeah, so yeah, this is the one we're near the airport. Very cool, guys. And this time, we're going to pimp this thing freaking out, dude. We're gonna pimp it out this time. To first repair it. All cleaned up. Gold preparation. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. I just, I just. Re yeah, gold. Yeah, gold preparation and high spread. Here you go. Extra. We'll put more armor on it. bulletproof tires that'd be good as well all right so we should have enough for the pimped out now yeah we should have enough bulletproof tires that'd be good for any part of the game just to have the bulletproof tires on and we did uh art we increased the armor uh so yeah whoa I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> no, stop! 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 Well, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> what even happened there? Alright, whatever. Alright. All right. Anyways, so we have we should have we need you need to spend eleven thousand dollars to uh you know to get the pimped the pimped out objective and I think we got that we I think we got that I mean yeah we uh <coughs> we increased the armor and we got bulletproof we got increased the armor and we got bulletproof t tires. So yeah, I think we uh, I think we got enough for the pimped out thing. And like I said, I guess taking the muscle cars to the Los Santos Customs it wants you to take it to. Here's the one it wants you to take it to, and here's the freaking garage. So it's the shortest distance. So I guess taking it to them to the one you, it wants you to take it to them to. I guess that's the easiest. I guess that's the best way to do it because it's the shortest distance then to the garage but i just like to i just i just like to take the cars to the closest one you know i just like to take the cars to the closest los santos customs but that's just me all right but here we have the fourth and final muscle car and there you go that's it guys that is it. I can't even take a four hour lunch break. Yeah. 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 Gauntlet. Alright, we got twenty thousand. Alright, mapped. Not a scratch, okay. So we need to spend eleven thousand, we spent twenty thousand. Okay. Cool. 
Well, that's it. All four gauntlets. Third and final gauntlets, primed and ready. Excellent. I'll let the others know we have everything we need. And we'll meet at the strip club. Okay. Are you guys ready? It is time for the big one. But not today. We're going to save that for tomorrow. So yeah, we got all four gauntlets and... The spike strips. Or the, yeah, the spikes strips. And yeah. So we got it all, guys. Now, after you get the, a gauntlet to the, um, the garage, I recommend just, uh, you can call a cab. I recommend just getting a car, though, here. I mean, not, not like it matters if you spend money, because we're about to get over 20, we're about to get over 20, 20 million gold, right? We're about to get $20 million worth in gold bars. So, uh, yeah. Or $20 million worth of gold bars. Whatever. So, I don't think it matters if you call a cab and spend some money. You know, but if you spend money there, you, can, you also have to spend money getting the gold preparation and repairing the car. But, we're about to get $20 million worth in gold bars. So, $20 million worth of gold bars. So, yeah, I don't, it doesn't matter how much money you spend, I guess. Also, Michael's got over a million dollars, so it doesn't matter anyway. But, uh, yeah, preparing for this heist, you have to spend a lot of, spend a lot of money, but it doesn't matter, though. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. So, you, you, you know. Anyways, though, just pick up a car on the road here if you don't want to call a cab. Or if there's a car right here, there's a car right here last time and I just got one. No, there's three cars here last time I just got one. Not always there, though, so you might have to just call a cab or, or if you don't want to do that, just pick up a car on the road here. But anyways, that's it, guys. Next time on Grand Theft Auto V, we're going to be doing the final heist, the big one. See you guys then.